The Lord be with you. Read from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went up the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. So after a night in prayer, it's hard to imagine that, a night in prayer, Jesus chooses uh, 12 disciples, uh, or 12 apostles from all of his disciples. And uh, today we celebrate uh, St. Simon, uh, uh, and as well as uh, St. one of the Judases. So Simon the Zealot, and then Judas, uh, also called Thaddeus. And uh, so know something about them. Uh, so so uh, St. Simon, um, the zealot, was a zealot because he belonged to this, you know, na- this party that was an uh, ultra-Jewish national party. In other words, he wanted a free and independent Israel, something without Roman occupation where they were their own independent country. So he would not have been really good friends with the uh, Herodians, so the ones that supported supported Herod. And uh, it's it's believed that he preached and proclaimed the gospel in Egypt and what we think of as modern-day Iran, Persia area. And uh, when it comes to Judas, it's uh, not, he's the uh, Judas, also also called uh, Thaddeus, which means courageous one. And uh, he's believed to have preached in Palestine, so the area of Israel, as well as Iran. And what they did was they, not too much is known about them, but more about what they did. They followed the great commission of Jesus. You know, go and make disciples of all nations and baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit and teaching them all that I proclaim to you. And so that was their job, their commission. And we share in that responsibility. But because of what they did, as we heard in our first reading, St. Paul calls them the foundation stones of the earth, so the apostles, with Jesus as the capstone. It's a beautiful image of church. And there's two aspects that St. Paul talks about that in the letter to the Ephesians. One is a, a, a visible church, and another is the invisible church, but it's all one church. So the visible church is what we see. So at the time of Jesus, it would have been Jesus with the apostles and the disciples. And for us, it's the Pope, it's the bishops, the priests, the deacons, the laity. All of that makes up church, which we call the body of Christ. So when we talk about church, we talk about the people, we talk about us. And that's, that's the visible part of the church. And it's within that visible part of the church that we receive graces. And that's where the invisible part of the church comes from. So the graces we receive come through the sacraments mostly, and there's other ways we receive graces too, but primarily through the sacraments. So that when we receive the Eucharist, we become a temple of the Holy Spirit. But collectively as the body of Christ, as the church, all of us together, we become a temple of the Holy Spirit. It's a beautiful image of the church and makes, it's a a wonderful the way St. Paul put it in our our first reading. And so we too are living stones within this church. Uh, We're disciples and so we're part of the church, part of that body of Christ. And so today we should ask for the intercession of uh, Judas uh, Thaddeus and uh, the, the courageous one, as well as Simon, uh, the zealot. 
and ask for their intercession to make us live up to our part of the Great Commission to spread the gospel, especially in our families.